back to another episode of AI, the Zombium Files. So in the last episode, we found our prime suspect dead. Hate it when that happens. Anywho, um, yeah, there he is. Um, also, I would like to point out that I've been getting some comments. Uh, I don't know if they want their name said or not, but anyway, um, I was told... You look awful. Of Have you been sleeping any? so many more things I can actually do in this game, like get for getting like funny things, more things I can click on, so I'm gonna be trying to do a lot more of it now. <clears throat> you look awful. Have you been sleeping, Getty? Uh, no. I mean, she read that, but... My best friend was murdered, boss. I don't have it in me to sleep right now. Well, I mean, I'm kind of with you there, buddy. Okay. Uh, pewter, yep, okay, so, uh, bags, hanging, shelves, I, uh, I do apologize when I click things like 17 times, cabinet, tombstone, rest in peace, there's wine bottles, I don't know if we're gonna find anything funny right now, police officer mannequin, uh, RC car, soccer ball, volleyball, yeah, I just, I'm gonna keep trying, but I, like, there's not gonna be anything. <sighs> yeah, it's because this is a serious matter. I tried, though. There's stickers all over the front. That, that there is. Broken clock, the battery died. Yeah, computer. Okay, I'm a pewter first. Uh, you seem troubled, Pewter. Two murders, one right after the other. I take it this guy really isn't like murder? How could I not be? Um... Why are you here anyway? Am I not allowed to be here? No, I didn't mean it like that. I was here first. I was just talking to the boss about Renju's murder. Oh. So do you have culprits? Renju had his left eyeball removed. Same as... Right. Shoko. Shoko too. She forgot his, her name for a minute. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. You're missing your left eye, so you steal them from others. I'm kidding. Only a joke. I'm too tired for your jokes right now, Pewter. That didn't come up hmm. as a joke. Actually, you lost your eye six years ago, correct? Sure. Yes, but I don't remember anything from back then. I lost my eye and my memories. I was transplanted into your empty eye socket a year later. So we've had you five years. We have been together for more than five years. Damn. Peter looks surprisingly serious. Well, there's been two deaths. And apparently he's not big on that. How about you getting any sleep? Of course not. I've still got a mountain of work piled up. Answering to the higher-ups, the press. I'm just taking a little breather. Good for you. What about Mitsuki? She's sleeping at the hospital. Again? They're going to give her counseling after she wakes up. I see. Well, we Her just... mother and her father. Can we put her back in the animus-looking thing? I hope she'll be okay. She'll be traumatized for life. Bye. You were the first on the scene, so you know this better than anyone, but... Renju was murdered. Yeah, the yeah, thing. No way this was a suicide. And the fact that his left eye was removed tells me that this was the same killer as Shoko. The serial killer. Does two make you the serial killer? The new Cyclops killer. What? That's the nickname that's been spreading around headquarters. The new Cyclops killer. New? Yes. Several years ago. Pewter. Ah, there, was another there is no point in hiding it from him. He would find out on his own eventually. It's all over the news. These murders have gone viral, so to speak. Can we tell me? Can we tell me? Can we find out? Killings from six years ago have continued. The Cyclops killer is back. Six years ago? Was I attacked by the Cyclops killer and that's why I don't remember anything? Is that what you were talking about, boss? I bet you we were attacked. <sighs> Fine. I suppose you deserve to know. Because we're missing that same eye. Yeah, buddy! Finally we get some answers. We have a name for it down at HQ. 
The original Cyclops serial killings, to distinguish it from this new one. Well, you may as well go original and new. It's six years apart, and you say it cannot be the same person. It was six years ago, in October. Four bodies were found in the mountains of Akikawa Valley. But the decomposition of the corpses were all at different stages. Okay. They were each killed sometime during May to September of that year. But they did have two things in common. They were all young women, and... Oh, okay. Each corpse was missing their right eyeball. Pulled out posthumously. The right. Isn't it the left now? A few days after the corpses were discovered, the killer sent a statement to the press. I killed them, and they are now my dear companions. Something like that. Okay, fucking... Zodiac, calm down. He signed the statement under the name Cyclops, hence the name the Cyclops Killer. The Cyclops is a mythological race of one-eyed giants. According to Greek myth, they are the children of Uranus, god of the sky, and Gaia, goddess of Earth. Damn. Uranus fucked the Earth. Cool. Cyclops were known for their outstanding strength and smithing ability. So the letter to the press wasn't a fake? It was the real killer? Yes. It had to be. A picture of one of the victims right after she was killed was sent along with the letter. That's disgusting. Was the Cyclops captured? No? No. In six years, we never got a single trace. So maybe Cyclops is responsible for these murders as well. No. That's impossible. Why? For one, the original Cyclops killer only killed women. Okay. Renju doesn't fit that profile. No. Second, all of the victims had their right eyes removed, but Shoko and Renju... Had their left. We're missing their left eye. We got a copycat. The timing of the eye removal is also inconsistent. The original Cyclops killer removed the eyes after the victims were killed. And these guys are still alive. But Shoko and Renju were both still alive. But even so, you can't say for sure this isn't our guy. Maybe they're just doing things a little differently now. Or do you have another reason? Oh, oh, wait. I'm sorry, Date. I can't say anymore. Oh. Bullshit, you can't. It's a national secret. How can it be a national secret? Really, though? Date, please, forget about it. I told you already, you don't need to know anything about that case to investigate this one. The criminal for this case and the case six years ago are not the same. You don't know that. Iva. Bring up all investigation records of the original Cyclops serial. I already had a look through the database while you were talking. Unfortunately, I found no relevant information. Shit. I also did not discover anything of note on the internet. Double shit. Only amateur theories, all lacking credibility and evidence. Damn it. Ah, uh, this bitch. That's all we have for now. All right. Special Agent Dante, we need you to continue your work. Right. I think I'll head back to where Renju was found. Sunfish pocket. Date, you're exhausted. Why don't you get some sleep before you continue your investigation? I'm fine. Let's go, Iva. Understood. Yeah, how about we just power through it? We'll just pass out later. We're good. No worries. Always nice scene. Um, Date. The vehicle is accelerating 2% slower than usual. Did you put anything in the trunk? No. What about the back seat? Back seat? Yeah, I see Mizuki. I don't think we were supposed to know if she was there. Steering wheel, dashboard. Can I click myself right now? I was told, though, that like, when I'm talking to Iba and I can see a picture of myself, I can actually talk to Did him. Did I put anything in there? You could have put a gold brick in there, and it wouldn't slow us down this much. Have you checked the back seat? Oh, right. But I can't just turn around and look while I'm driving. Just check the rear view mirror. Yeah, stop telling me what to do. I'm clicking everything else in the car first. I want to make sure I don't miss something. Chuckly. I think I've gotten everything, though. All right. What are you doing back there? Mizuki! Hey, watch out! Ice forward, stupid! Well, apparently she doesn't need counseling. Music climbed up to the front seat and sat in the passenger seat. Great. Oh my god. Hey, Date, what would happen if I grabbed the wheel and spun it super hard? We would spend the rest of our very short time together thinking about how stupid that was. Huh. 
Hey, Date, why do they call it a dashboard? Because it makes the car go faster. I'm not sure. Uh-huh. And why do they call it a tachometer? It measures how many tacos worth of revolutions the wheels spin. Because the tortilla is round, obviously. You know what? That's sound logic. It's pretty good. You can do it. Go love box. Is this where you keep your weird stuff? No. But don't look. Damn, is it that obvious? Apparently. Apparently that's where we keep the weird stuff. There's no one in the back seat. This time. The gear shift. And she had nothing fun to say about the gear shift. The passenger seat. And I think that's how we can click the car again. So let's just go check the Mizuki. Um. How are you doing first? Well, I can still talk this time. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. Mizuki's psychological wounds have been healed by the sink. Nice weather we're having. If you have nothing to talk about, you don't have to say anything. Fair enough. You're an adult. Shouldn't you know that already? If you start talking about the weather, it means you have nothing to say. Damn. What a brat. A little bit of a bitch. It wasn't locked. I just opened the door. I've been here for like 10 minutes. Why don't your doors have auto locks? I know you like old cars, but you gotta lock the doors. You should be a little more apologetic for someone who just got caught breaking into my car. Mizuki does raise a valid point. You know, shut up. Like, if you are let not him more be. serious about security, you should consider replacing the car altogether. You too? Um, we're keeping the car. So. You were talking to yourself again. I heard you. It's creepy. You should cut that out. I was talking to I about Ola before I noticed Mizuki in the car. That must be what she's referring to. Mizuki is still unaware I exist? Yeah, I know there's no reason to hide it, since she already knows about this. It's just hard to explain. I won't say anything. Pop yet. out of the head. Understood. But I am ready to be introduced at any time. Just let me know when the time is right. It's not a proposal. No need to be so formal. Shit, I said that out loud. Date, I think you should go to the hospital. <laughs> Yeah, you think? If I'm really talking to myself, you really think? I ditched the hospital. They're yeah. probably freaking out over there right now. Probably. I'm taking you back. No, don't! Nothing will change if I stay at the hospital all day. You're going to investigate, right? Yep. Take me with you! I can help! How is a little runt like you gonna be any help? I'm Renju's daughter. Maybe I'll notice something you don't. Something only his daughter would know. I don't know. My daddy was killed. I can't just stay at the hospital. Take her with you. No point arguing with a 13-year-old. Don't say I never did anything for you. You're going to take me along? Just promise not to interfere with the investigation. Got it. Do you want to catch the suspect? No, it's more like I don't like sitting still and moping all day. I've grown out of my brooding, pretentious teenager phase. Odd thing for a preteen to say. Really, though? Are you not aware of Mizuki's mental prowess? She is far more developed than her classmates. She is even reading psychology papers by Alfred Adler. Don't know who that is, Ivo. Sounds pretentious to me. I don't know who that is at all. Hey, about Renju. Back Do you have anything to tell me? Anything at all that might help? Well, it's not about Daddy, but I heard from Daddy that Mom had a secret. Oh. Shoko had a secret? Did she? What is Shoko's secret? We need to know. Did you know that Mom was the representative of an investment company? Yeah, I did. That whole company was a big scam. Scam? Well, I don't know the details. They start up a company to get people to invest in it, then shut it down on purpose and keep the money. Uh... She got really rich like that. Shoko did this? Yep. By herself? No, dummy. Of course it was with other people. Yeah, I don't think you could do that yourself. You need other people to make it look like an actual, like, living, breathing company. You can't just be like, yeah, I'm starting this up, give me your money. I saw gangsters there sometimes. If she ever got into trouble, she had them take care of it. I am scanning all known crime databases, but I cannot find any reports referencing this. They must have been extraordinarily careful. I would say so. Anyway, I'm glad you're okay. I'm, I'm not okay. So, you want to go back to the hospital? I'd be more than happy to drop you off. That's not what I meant. Why are you always so pushy, Date? I'm not pushy, I'm just worried. Yeah, I'd be worried too. You are 13, you've seen two deaths. You've got a Both weird way parents. of showing it. Doesn't look like you're worried. You're just weird. You've always got something smart to say, huh? You're just like Renju. Date. What about Daddy? 
Nothing. You have no tact, do you? This is why you're single and always will be. Woo! <laughs> That's where you're wrong, kiddo. I look like a single father when you're around. Chicks love it. <laughs> yeah, chicks love to see creepy old men hanging out with a sixth grader. Hey, what are you implying? Ooh, did I make you mad? Now I'm stuck in a car with an angry old creepy pervert. Jesus! I am not an old creepy pervert. And even if you were my age, you're not my type. Ew, I don't want to know about your type. Hey, you started it. Stupid old man. Punk ass kid. Jesus! What a fucking back and forth. I do love that fucking back and forth though, like, damn. We're at the Sunfish Pocket. You can get Blu-ray, DVD, or CD. Oh. Through some of the body was at least taken down. Mizuki and I walked back into Sunfish Pocket. Oh, Detective Date. Good to see you, sir. I bet it is. And this is... Have you looked through the case file yet? Oh, oh, I am so sorry. Yeah. She's the victim's... Yes. Please, let us through. Yeah, how about you just fucking push aside, let me and the daughter through. Even though she really should not be at a crime scene. Especially when her father has been just executed. <laughs> like, in such a ridiculously over outlandish manner. Okay. Window. Second floor, there's a window. Okay. A table. <gasps> Can't find any clues. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Anyway, there's a Dragon's us. Palace Pasta. 1800 yen. 1800? Isn't that pretty average? This is average? I don't know how much 1800 yen translates into for us. You know what? Give me one second. We're gonna find out. 1800 yen in Canadian. 1800 yen in. in CAD. Oh! That's $22, my money. That is pricey. Holy shit. Iba, did you get anything from the surveillance camera? Unfortunately, no. Yeah, All of, of the recordings not. from local surveillance equipment have been erased. Of course it has. What about backups? There are none. Nothing was uploaded to the cloud either. You know what? Uh, it's just so useless. Uh, oop. Uh, status, please. Nothing special. Of course not. The club is located on the second floor of the building. We use the elevator to get here. Iba, can you check the operation records of this elevator? Searching. Yeah, you Found should it. be able to figure that out. The elevator out. records are sent automatically to building management. According to the record from yesterday, from 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once. Mm -hmm. At 8.55 p.m., the weight of the car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds. That's heavy. 310 pounds. That's either multiple people or one big bad mamma jamma. There are pictures of girls on display, probably girls that are What are you staring here. at? Creeper. I agree. Okay. Menu, menu, menu. Mizuki. Light. Probably not a clue. We don't know for sure. Uh, sunfish pocket. Store signboard. Says sunfish pocket. Yep, yep, yep. Oil drum. The capacity of this oil drum is 200 liters. It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. Let me check inside. Okay. There is something. What is that? What? There's something inside. What is it? They stepped up to the drum. This is the oil drum. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. Let's open it. Let's break that bitch open. The watch. This is... Is it Renju's? Is it Shoko's? Is it somebody else you know? This is the wristwatch Renju always wore. Never mind. No doubt about it. But how did this get here? Just Renju's watch. Not sure how much that helps now. Hey, we're done with that. A trident! Pyramid of wood, nothing special about it. Is that a 
spear? It more closely resembles a harpoon of sorts. I believe this is a trident. Any yeah. chance this was used in the murder? No. There are no traces of blood on the trident. And no indication that Renji was stabbed. I had to get the eye out. Answer me that. Trident. Again. A nice tabel. A box. Uh... I think we've clicked on almost everything now. The corpse was strung up near this counter. The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines were excreted upon death, but no traces of that have been found in the area nor on the corpse itself. Oh. This evidence makes it highly likely that Renju was killed somewhere else. And cleaned up? Hmm. It must have been considerably difficult to carry more than 150 pounds. What do you mean? Okay, okay, that would explain why the elevator is 310 now. Renju weighed approximately 158 pounds. I can estimate a person's weight by analyzing their bone structure, muscle, and fat. Cool. Kitchen door. Iba, can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? Of course. Zoom. The autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepine. I know that word. It is a common sedative. The dosage found in the victim's bloodstream was extremely high. It can be assumed that Renju's cognitive functions were heavily impaired before his death. So pretty fucked up. So sedatives were detected in Renju's body. He was barely conscious before he was killed. I'm not sure that's a good thing to hear. <laughs> He waited about 160, he definitely murdered somewhere else, then carried here. I guess there's still more to look at here. The left eye has been this pulled out. This case bears similarity to Shoko's. The left eyeball was removed while the victim was still alive. Oh, love it. Ah, there can't be anything else, I don't think, can it? And the body. The time of discovery was 1020 p. You of course already know this. But you and Mizuki were the first to discover Renju's corpse. Well, after, except for the guy that placed the body. The body was hanged from the ceiling, similar to how a fish would be. A thick hook was embedded in the upper jaw, and the wires connecting to the hook were strung up on one of the ceiling beams. There was also a hook on the other end of each wire. The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. We have found no fingerprints. Ugh. What a way to die. Still something else? Oh, the right eye. Oh, well, come on. It's gotta be, it's gotta be, it's gotta be it. Is the counter done? He definitely murdered somewhere else than carried here. It still tells me there's something else. Eye, eye, face. The neck. Fuck. There are deep impressions left on the Correct. The face shows clear signs of congestion, along with petechia around the face and throat. Both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. Any indication of the murder weapon? All right, Most likely that. a twisted piece of cloth. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck, choking him in an attempt to suffocate him. The specific cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. Put more simply, the suspect strangled Renju to death from behind. Brutal. Do we have an estimated TOD? Yesterday, around 8 p.m. So Renju was murdered about two hours before Mizuki and I found the body. Jesus. Strangled. Okay, now I can exit. Now there's nothing. And it told me there was nothing. I think we have clicked basically everything. Kitchen window looks suspicious. What? Oh, nothing looks suspicious. What's your name? What? I was asking for your name. My name is Kagami. Oh. Okay. It's Kagami. And if you keep freaking Kagami. at me. Kagami. Okay, keep freaking at me. I told you it's Kagami. I told you my name like five times. Yeah. One more. I of course remembered his name. His name is engraved in my mind. His name is... Hey you, what's your name? 
<laughs> Seriously? It's Kagami. Stop bugging him, it's rude. Excuse you? My best friend, uh, Kagami and I are having a conversation. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, don't spoil our fun. What? <laughs> Jesus. Are you getting up rest? <sighs> no, not these past few days. I thought so. Once this is over, get some rest, all right? You too, Detective Date. I like this guy now. No, we didn't find anything today. Another inspector. Hope we find some clues. Beer keg! Branches of course is hung by these wires. These wires were tied to three Each kegs. Each keg has a capacity of 20 liters. All three kegs were filled in approximately 55 pounds each. That'd be enough to lift them. I think we've checked everything we need to. I agree. We should compile our evidence and inferences. Azuki, you ready to leave? What? But we aren't done investigating. What do you mean? There are still people I want to talk to. Oh, good for you. Well, there is one place. Have you heard of Golden Yokocho in the entertainment district? Nope. Daddy used to go to a place called Marvel a lot. Maybe they know something about him. Yeah, that means something to me. Yeah. Oda is in here all the time. He might know something. He's here all the time. I'll call him. Ota's phone is broken. He dropped it in a puddle. Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. We'd have to talk to him in person. He's probably at Lemna Skater Matsushita Diner. Freaks me out that you know exactly where she is. Yeah. Or he is, sorry. Daddy owned Lemniscate and Iris works for them. She used to work here too. So she might know something. I'll call her. Oh, we're actually calling her this time. Miss Wiki tried calling Iris, but there was no answer. Okay. Have any idea where she might be? I don't know. Iris is into a lot of things. Okay, so that doesn't help me. Evidence marker did say. Use the mouse to click this one. Evidence back of the marker, track evidence at the scene. Uh, let's head out then. I think we have seen everything we need. Lemniscate, Matsushita Diner, and Marble. Let's head out. Okay. Look at that. Okay. I, th I do believe. Fuck. That we hit. Oh. He's investigating something. I, I think we've clicked actually everything. In this room. So in the next episode, oh my god, we actually can go to one of three places. Uh, we will hit up at least one of, well, we'll hit up one of the three places at the start of the next episode to you guys. Then, hope you guys enjoyed up till now. I'm trying to click everything I can, get all the funny responses. There, obviously, I've gotten some out of this one, so it's pretty nice. But yeah, I'll see y'all guys in the next episode. Take care till then. Bye bye.